Hey guys, it's me, Alita, and today we are going to be reading a book called Bumbles. Bumbles. The sun is warm, bright yellow dandelions are popping up in the grass. It's time. Watch for them. Watch and listen. You may hear one before you see it. A buzz. Deep and bold. Bzzz. Hear it? There it is. A yellow and black buzzing ball of fur. It's big and f it's fuzzy. It's a bumblebee. The bumblebees you see in spring are biggest of all. That's because they are queens, each and every one. Head, thorax, abdomen, tongue, stinger, bumblebee. All the other bumblebees die in fall. Only the young queens live on. They stay underground all winter. When they come out in spring, they are all looking for the same thing. Follow one, you'll see. She flies close to the ground. She crawls under plants and logs. She is looking for a nest. Wild bumblebees don't live in hives. Most of them live in the ground. They like old mouse nests, but any dark hole will do. Look! Our queen has found a hole by a stone wall. It's an old chipmunk. Perfect. The queen crawls into the nest. Then she does something amazing. She squeezes wax out of her body. She shapes the wax. Soon she has made a little cup, half the size of her thumb. It's called a honey pot. She will fill the honey pot with a sweet drink called nectar. She will collect the nectar from flowers with her long, long tongue. Next, the queen lays a few eggs. She sits on them most of the day. That will make them hatch faster. She sips nectar while she waits. In about three weeks, the wait is over. A few full-grown bees now share the nest with their mother, the queen. Workers! All day, the workers speed in and out of the nest. The insects can visit thir 30 different flowers each minute. Their wings beat 200 times a second. Each wing works like a hinge that opens and closes very fast. And the food they carry is as heavy as they are. The food feeds more and more bees. Work goes on. The queen lays more and more eggs. By the end of summer, there may be 400 insects in the nest. Many are young queens. Do the bees love the taste of the flowers? Or is it the warm sun on their backs? We can't know. But we do know that soon enough, it will grow cold and they will be gone. The workers and the old queen will die. In the spring, dandelion plants will pop up in the grass. New queens will come out and it will begin all over again. Watch for them. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, like, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.